Hello kindergartners! We are going to be starting a new lesson today and you all are going to be creating a pair of mittens. And we're going to be using oil pastels or crayons. I'm not quite sure yet, but we're going to be using a resist method to color. So hopefully I have read the story to you, uh, The Mitten by Jan Brett. And now we're ready to begin. So depending on what material we use, we can use either crayon or oil pastel. Both are oily and their oil pastels are very soft. Crayons are a little bit harder. So you're going to take a color and the first thing you're going to do is make the line and I've already made that line for you but you're going to trace over it with whatever color you choose. But your mittens, they're going to look the same on both sides. That's symmetrical. So we have to remember if I use red here, I have to do it over here. I can't change colors. Now this part of the mitten is going to have just these lines here. And of course I did that here, so I have to do the same thing over on this side. Now we're going to start talking about <clears throat> patterns. And patterns are things that repeat over and over. So I'm going to take my next color that I've picked and I'm using a blue and I'm going to go from about this side all the way over here. So I'm going to make a line right across just kind of like I did here with the red. But before I go any further I'm going to do the same thing here. So I'm going to make my dot here and I'm going to go right across because I need these to look the same. Now you can probably tell this one's a little bit skinnier than this one. That's okay. Just try your best. Now inside here you're going to create whatever pattern you want. And I'm going to start with, hmm, well, I'm going to start with a zigzag. I don't know, I always go for the zigzags. And notice that when I'm going, making my zigzag, I start at the bottom, or we call that the floor, and I go all the way up to the top that we call the ceiling. So I did that, now I'm going to come over here and do the same thing. From the floor to the ceiling, all the way across. Now, I can take my oil pastel or my crayon and make these thicker if I like. And the same with this side. So however you are planning on designing your mittens. All right, I'm gonna take another color and I've chosen pink and I'm gonna go inside these triangles And notice I'm still leaving some white paper behind. We've got plans for that. All right, so now I'm gonna go on to my next color. And I'm gonna start right here where the thumb ends and I'm gonna make my line across. And I can make my line across here. And the same thing. Now I have a choice here. I can just color in my thumb or I can add the pattern here if I'd like. But I'm just gonna color this thumb part in. Of course I did it here. I'm going to do it on the other one. Keeping my mittens looking the same. Okay, so now I have this space to think of another pattern. And maybe I'm just going to do big circles or polka dots. And nope, I think I'm going to color those in. This one kind of goes off the edge so I don't see the whole circle. I'm going to do the same thing here. And I'm sure you're getting the idea that we're going to finish this whole thing. So now I'm just going to color in little dots above and below so it looks like polka dots. Alright, I'm going to continue on. Now let's see, maybe I'll take a dark blue. 
And for my dark blue, I'm going to come right here. And maybe for this one, let's see, what do I want to do? All right, maybe I'll keep it simple. Maybe I'll just do diagonal lines. And I want a thick diagonal line here. Oh, I have an idea. Maybe I'm going to make it go across like this. All right, so now I have to do that over here. And don't worry if they look a little different. I mean, we're trying our best here to make them look the same, but of course they might look a little bit different in the end. That's okay. All right, now the very last, the tip up here. I'm gonna give you a choice. You can either create another pattern here or if you'd like, you can just color it in. And for my lesson video, I am just gonna color this in. Don't worry about getting outside the lines here because we will be cutting this out eventually. Now there is one other step we have to do before we are complete with our mittens. And that is coming up next. So I'm kind of going quick here to finish coloring my mitten so I can show you the next step. We're going to be using watercolor. And I know we've used watercolor in the past, but I want to give you a few reminders. All right, so I am done with either my crayons or my oil pastel. We have to really wait to see what I have enough of for you. All right, so we're going to have watercolors next. And you're going to get a paintbrush and water. And the first thing you do with your watercolors is you just drop some plain old water into the watercolor to activate it. Watercolors, when they're not being used, are dry. So we have to add the water to them. All right, so now you get to pick your colors here, what you want to use. I'm going to go for orange. And notice I just touched it. And I'm going to come right down here, and I'm going to paint orange right on top of my work. And you're going to notice that the watercolor pulls away from our pattern here. That's the resist. Okay. And like I said, don't worry about going outside the lines. I'm going to come back here with red. I could have done another color. And over here, and I'm kind of going outside of the lines here just to show you that that is absolutely okay. And I'm just going to continue on painting my mittens and noticing how that pattern sticks out now. All right, let's see. I'm going to try some yellow right here. And I am almost done. Be sure, I know I haven't said it in this video yet, be sure you clean your brush after changing colors because you want to keep your tray of watercolor paint looking nice. There's nothing worse than having a scrambled up tray of watercolor. All right, I'm done for today. So we're gonna put our materials away and next time you'll see what happens with our mittens next.